Hello, everybody, and welcome to Arc Hardcore Viking Let's Play with the Gamerman and Scholars. Of course, I am Hoenn, and you guys, and gals, and whoever else is watching, this is officially the day of ugly, mismatched, colorful, weird, schemed judgment, where we are going to take our wonderfully constructed Ragnarok raft all the way east along the northern side of the map from Vikings Bay all the way to the highlands so that we can attempt to tame not one but two horses and we're going to do this in this very oddly colored outfit and I don't even care, because when we get, it won't matter if we die. Okay, this is hardcore. One life to live, folks. That's the difference between this series. I mean, there's a lot of differences, honestly. But the main difference between this series and everyone else's, they can die over and over and over and over and over again. The fear of the Ark means nothing. But here, it is sacred. We are on we started on Ragnarok as a Viking so that we may be alone with the gods and blessed by them to live one glorious powerful Viking life. And so we're going to get on our little boat and we're going to try to go up river and see what we can do guys. So let's do it. <laughs> Victory laugh. Hey, are you eyes are you eyes back? Thank goodness for that. Okay. Alright, folks. Here we go. What would be absolutely insane is as soon as we got out of here we got attacked by a lead sick at this. Right? How fing insane would that be? <laughs> it'd be so fun. it'd be funny I, i'd i'd want to fucking rage quit like i'd be like I, I i'd so quickly go from i love this map to i fucking hate this map you know like oh god oh and i just see i, I just have the absolute worst luck with boats and lead sick at this so as soon as I get out on the water, my heart is pounding, man. Like, it is, seriously. I'm just like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Like, every second, I'm away from the... Oh, we're, I just... I don't know. For me, we're in their natural habitat. Not ours. Theirs. They are keen. Anything that lives in the water immediately has advantage over us. So yes, I will be staying fucking close to shore. I can't talk, like, I can't even count how many times I've went to cross this right here and boom, lead sick at this. Like, it's just that bad. It's just that bad. Good lord. Oh, I have to take a break. <laughs> oh my gosh, my anxiety is just fucking through the roof. It's through the roof. It's sharks don't attack boats. It's so... It's like... I get it, but... Wow, interesting, you know? To me, very interesting. I'm just waiting for it. I'm just waiting for it. Big, giant, pink lead sick of this. Oh, hey. That's one thing that I'm not going to complain about with us being so close to the shore. Is that we will be able to go and access these uh, supply crates. Which 
which could be a really, really profitable way to, for us to get some early equipment. So let's take a look and see what's in these. Break them open. Yep. Crossbows. Oh, yeah. Hold on. All right, so hold on. let's take a look specifically at what we got here by putting it in the box. We'll put it in the box. We'll put stuff in the box, girl. We'll put this stuff in the box. We'll put it all in a box, girl. No matter what you think went wrong, just jam onto this awesome song. I got it out of a box. I'm I'm actually I'm singing. It's I just parodied something from Saturday Night Live. I'm sorry if you don't know what it is. Oh, Shafui. Oh. Oh, there was a crate right there. A floating crate. Oh, missed that one. Oh well. We pretty much got what we're going to get from those crates, if I recall. So. And I mean, like, so many of the places here on Ragnarok are gorgeous spots. Hey, 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 hey! Now, I remember telling myself, it's going to be a long time before I have a flyer. I forgot about the Pelagornis. I forgot about the Pelagornis. I didn't forget about the Pelagornis. I forgot that they were so readily available on this map. So, of course, what should have been a simple journey east has now become... I need a Pelagornis, right? Which, is this going to be one more... You know what? Okay. Alright. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to add a note. We're going to tame Pelagornis on the way back. Pelagornis on way home. Oh, and just the idea gave me a level up. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Knowledge is powerful. Oh, wow, folks. I think we almost made it, like, basically home free to the highlands. Oh, jeez Louise. That was enough anxiety for me for a while. Wow. Wow. Okay, hold on. Now these, I think it's what? Uh, we're going to harvest um, spoiled meat, oil, and hide, maybe? Yeah. Okay, keratin, hide, and spoiled meat. And some oil. We're going to dump most of the spoiled meat, honestly. Is it almost... Holy crap. It took us the whole day, and we ran right into a horse. Now, this is the thing. We can't just go get this horse. We have to first... Um, the first thing we have to do is to get uh, some wild crops. There's going to be some rock carrots further deeper into the highlands that we can get. So we're not going to just grab any horse either. We're going to be a little picky. Okay, we're going to just save 200 of those. We're going to save that and whatever hide we got. Dump that. There we go. Alright, so let's take this. Oh, I wonder if this is a good place to camp for the night. both hate to stay the night here, yet I don't see any other choice. 
And it actually honestly seems like our safest bet. Okay, folks, we have definitely survived the night. It's 7 a.m. We're gonna turn, we're gonna put out our fires here, and we're gonna go ahead and head down the beach, and we're gonna try to get. I mean, I'm glad to see that the Highland Sands here essentially are giga free. I just hope we can. I, I'm just hoping for the best further down shore. They never did give an explanation as to why the dead basilosaurs are on the beach, though. And I have always wondered about that. That is one unexplained piece of lore out here in the Highlands. Okay, alright, so we're going to go around this old ruined dock. I think... Oh, are those carrots? Or are those just flowers? Let's take a look here. Like so. Pull right up to the dock. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just regular old stuff and things. Okay. Our first peak over the precipice. No giga yet. If this is where I think it is, there's a little lake down here. And I think, I think there's some crops. see silk. That morning light. Aha! Okay. Some saver roots. Right at the base of the aha, and there's the aloe pack we were worried about. Okay, so that lets us know, though, that where we want to be, where we want to be grabbing those, um, those, uh, horses from is basically right where the boat is. Now, as cl I, I don't like it being that close to the boat because when they run into the water you can't feed off of them oh my goodness what's going on okay we got it all right let's grab these let's get these saber roots and get the hell out of here there's a couple this place is beautiful i've set up a home here before but naturally, the highlands are still tricky. Okay, now these are rock carrots, but we'll grab anything and everything we can. Get it all, get it all. Looks like we might get more rock carrots than we have saber roots. So, looks like rock carrots will be our primary, uh, our primary taming food here. Okay, and we can head back. Oh, hey, look, more. Oh, we're dehydrated. Which was to be expected. Alright, there we go. More savory. Okay, so now, <clears throat> whereas horses up by the... Um, horses up by the Allosaurus is, is dangerous because it could run right into the Allosaurus. Horses down here are dangerous, both because they can run into the water and because just down the beach, 
are Maglamias, and they are not very friendly at all. Alright, let's feed it. Oh, level 55. Alright, and it's already taken off. Dang. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. It's about impossible to control which direction they go. But trying to influence it seems to help. Just a little bit. Oh. There you go. Oh, nope. Nope. Wrong way. No, not into the water. Anywhere, yes. Anywhere but the freaking water. Come on. Come on. No, not the water. Oh. Just one more before you get to anything dangerous. Come on, you're hungry. You want a buck. Come on. Oh, good lord. Okay, and we don't even know whether this is a male or a female yet. Hold on, let's take a look. Okay, if this is a male, this is most likely Ragnar. That's what I think we're going to have here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Alright, we'll take our first horse back to the boat. So, let's see. Add creature to group. We've got companions and mounts. Which is tricky, because horses are both. Oh, yeah. Horses are both. Okay. Um, we also want this to be... Alright, let's see. Attacking target. Oh, boy. Uh, right now, I want you on passive. If I can't do anything with this horse because it's Maglamia infested and they'd give it'd give me mega rabies and I'd die in an instant. What we can do is we can go down past the Allosauruses and check down there for horses. Since they started here and drifted their way down to death. Ugh. Frustrating and scary. Alright, Ragnar. You ready? Ragnar's ready. Okay. I think the proper strategy here would be to take Ragnar with us. Yes. Because let's just be honest. If we're riding Ragnar and he can't outrun something and dies, we're going to die too. So, may as well commit to it. Let's commit to the bit. We've only got so much time. And it'll be dark, and I'll want us to be docked on the ship without a care in the world. Okay. There's the Giga. We wanted to know. Now we know. Okay, so wait, if the gig is over there, that means that there is one more field on the other side of this rock. 
That should be bare and clear. If there's not a bunch of aloes in it, if there's a horse, it'll be a nice, safe area to take. Mystery horse. Okay. You. Passive. You. Follow. Follow me, follow me, follow me. It's a unicorn. But there's also two more horses over there. I don't see anything wrong with us taming a magical unicorn. 42%. Sure, take us right over to the other... Nope, 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 not that way. There we go. Yeah, right over to the other horses. That sounds great. What a great idea, unicorn. No. Nope. That way, yeah. This is great. Oh. Yeah, you just want to stop right here and just keep bucking. Right? That'd be wonderful. Oh, buddy. Here we go. Come on now. This will be the first unicorn I've ever tamed. Which increase, uh, which I understand increases your chances of getting twins. Except, okay, and this is a female unicorn, which is kind of perfect. All right, hold on. Now you behavior. You also need to be on passive. You all need to be following me. Okay. Alright. We have a lot of horses to choose from, too. And I like the variety of color. <gasps> no. No. Aww. Okay. Let's go see what this one's deal is. Two levels, 100% effectiveness. Come on, if we can just get it to turn around. Yes. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. You guys stay right there. 43%. Shit. What kind of levels does this thing have? And plus 42 levels. This has got to be a high level. Sure, just keep running around in circles in this little spot right here. This is fine. Little circles. Little concentric circles. Better yet, get stuck in some trees. Oh, look at this coloring. I love that. White with the brown stripes. <clears throat> brown almost red.
so close. So close, we're so close. I don't even know if this is a male or a female, but we're so close. And it is. It is a female. We have... Holy crap. This couldn't have turned out better. We have a mating pair and a unicorn. We're going to come straight to just right here. And you know what? I'm going to build a small camp. Camp. <laughs> Ta da, camp. That's what I call camp. Okay, so. Y'all need some foods. So while we're sitting here tonight, I'm going to think about how I want to be building the base stats of the mother and father pair that we're going to be basically breeding from, okay? So, so far, what I would most like to do, right, is make the mother fast okay and the father strong both in carry weight and in melee damage so let's see right now the father has 268 mama has 310 Ooh. and just because of the level gap Mama's already much better in uh, as far as melee damage and move. I mean, you know, melee damage, health, and stamina. But I think if what we if we go ahead and we start focusing, if we don't worry so much about melee damage, okay, but instead start putting it, packing it into weight and health. That's where I want to make the most difference because we can flesh them out through leveling, uh, in weight and end movement speed, right? But with Mama, I think every level we give to her, because she's already got such good stats, even though weight is only a 400, if we pump everything else into movement speed, then Mama will be quick and we'll make Daddy strong. We'll put it in the box. We'll put stuff in the box, girl. We'll put this stuff in the box. We'll put it all in a box, girl. No matter what you think went wrong, just jam onto this awesome song. I got it out of a box. <laughs> <laughs> 